What causes your autoimmune condition is massive inflammation, toxicity, and decreased immune response. What is common among chronic conditions? Massive inflammation, toxicity, decreased immune response. Why you're having a problem? You, you have a problem because you have a massive inflammation, your body is toxic, and your immune system cannot handle it. You have decreased immune response. The problem is that most doctors that you have been to, they're organ-based and they deal with one organ. They're highly specialized in one organ. Thyroid doctor looks from here to here. Diabetes doctor looks at your pancreas. Skin doctor looks at your skin. They look at your symptoms and run some tests as a result of the results of the test, you're labeled that you have this or that condition. I want to eliminate the fact that you're going from doctor to doctor to doctor. I want to reinvent your life. The cause of you having low energy, sleep difficulty, feeling depressed, feeling fatigued, memory loss, GI issues, is not even addressed because they look at the organ. They're missing the boat. Because your doctor is looking at your symptoms and not you. We need to treat you as one package, as one person. If your name is Mary, your condition's name will be Mary's condition. It's different from everybody else's condition. Most people who suffer from chronic conditions, they're suffering from an autoimmune condition. What is autoimmune condition? Autoimmune condition is a condition that, due to parasite, viruses, mold, yeast, inflammation, toxicity, on and on and on, they attack your body, your immune system wants to handle it, it cannot. It attacks other organs and systems of the body, your thyroid, your pancreas, your liver, your skin, you get allergies, your sleep, your brain most of the time. Then your brain cannot handle it, your organs cannot handle it, then when your organs cannot handle it, your immune system loses and then you get autoimmune condition. When you don't eat for energy, your organs do not get proper nutrients to function properly. As a result, they become weak. Make sense? When you don't eat for energy, your organs become weak. Now, when the organs become weak, your immune system's job is to protect them. But your immune system becomes weak too. As a result, your immune system starts attacking your organs attacking liver, stomach, because they cannot protect you. Autoimmune conditions, they affect your thyroid function, they affect your liver function, sex drive, brain function, gut function, muscles, joints. Then it remains untreated, your problem becomes chronic. Then you go on to specialist who only looks at your organ and gives you pills. For how long? Rest of your life. Then you get more sick. I want you to understand, chronic conditions require to treat the body, not a system of the body, not an organ of the body, not only definitely a symptom of the body. If you cannot sleep, it could be related to many organs, it could be related to many systems of the body, but it has a cause. We need to treat the cause. Your thyroid will not have optimal function without your liver functioning properly, and your liver will not function properly if your thyroid is not functioning properly, and I'm gonna to explain to you why in a bit. The main reason your thyroid and pancreas, they're not working, in most cases, it's not even related to thyroid or pancreas. Most of my patients who have thyroid or liver or gut problem, or brain fog, it's not even related to these organs. So the pills and the medications that you have been taking has not even addressed the cause, obviously. That's why you're watching this video. You have to look at everything and everything at once. That's what your doctor should do. We need to treat you and not only your symptoms.
That is why you are still a mess. That is why you don't get better. That's why you're taking medications. That's why you're even taking supplements and you're not even getting better. Good morning. My name is Sheriff Michael Sordino, Burton County Sheriff, and I'm here this morning to thank Dr. Maz and the whole MedWell staff for all they do 